What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today we're going to be covering three topics. One in particular is going to be the my, my, my favorite. 600 EX2 RT Speedlight. So this camera accessory is, I have to say, I'm not a big fan of, um, of flashes. I like natural lighting. Natural lighting is actually one of the, the beautiful aspects of living here on Earth, I think. It's, it's the colors in the sky, uh, mixture with uh, the amount of light coming from the sun, and of course you have the clouds contributing as well. Nothing beats it. You have golden hour you have, and you have um, nautical and civil, civil twilight. You have those, those um, aspects contributing to a beautiful, beautiful picture. And I really don't think that anything you can make in a studio can mimic the true beauty of being outside and just capturing the world through the lens. And um, I recommend you use the 600X, EX I should say, uh, 600 EX2 RT. Uh, this be light, which here it is. So this is my setup for anything and everything. So this camera, as you, as you have seen from my previous videos, uh, me talking about how amazing this camera is and that it makes you feel like you can pretty much do anything. And rightfully so, because this thing can do pretty much everything. Um, the one thing I use my 5D Mark IV for, which is what it's filming right now, is, is uh, um, landscapes. Uh, Sometimes commercial requires a little bit more high resolution uh, photo and um, definitely portraits because for portraits um, this having an extra 10 million megapixels can really add to overall picture uh, with portraits. More resolution, greater detail, the way you want it to, however you see it, however you see the world and however, however you uh, you see photography and how it goes and how it how it tells a story that that's on you that's that's on you as a photographer that's on you as a videographer that's on you as an artist um, whatever anyway sidetrack so let's get into the second one so um, I'll go more in detail about the 600 EX2 RT uh, a little bit later um, you can definitely check out uh, some of the photos I did with the 600EX2 RT. I'm still testing it. I'm still a newbie when it comes down to this lit, to this um, to this speed light. Now, just keep in mind, though you may be a newbie like me when it, when it comes down to the Canon speed light, uh, don't be intimidated by it. I mean, honestly, it is it is by far the um, the most user friendly flash that I have ever used. I uh, have. Um, to be perfectly honest, I have tried other speed lights and I, I just either they're not enough, it's not enough um, buttons, not enough customization to make it worth buying, or there is too many things going on in, in the graphic universe, uh, the graphic interface to where it's like, did I buy a Sony camera? Do I have to adjust every single setting? I mean, what the heck is going on here? Um, so in case you haven't noticed, uh, since the past year or so, there have been complaints with uh, Sony users as well as anybody who tries their cameras. Um, the graphic user interface on a Sony, there are a lot of buttons, a lot of customizations. It's just not very good when it comes down to user friendly. But here's the thing, where Canon and Nikon get it right, and as well as Olympus, Fuji film, oh my gosh, Fuji film does this incredibly well too. Um, is their their user friendly buttons, a user friendly um, operating system on the camera. It, it just it's just it's amazing. You switch to Sony and it's like, oh, I have to do a lot more and learn more about the machine before I can actually use it. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I just think that. Um, having something simpler, easy to use, take out a box and use it. And this 600EX2 RT Speedlight is definitely one of those accessories that take it out of the box, pull open the manual, which 
I still at times read manuals, but at most times I actually pop open YouTube or pop open the uh, the uh, manual manual online because you can control find and find the things you want a lot faster. That's just my take. Everybody has a preference, but pull open the manual and you got it. All right, next thing is I want to discuss. So I talked about um, with my friends, family, as well as online about uh, doing a, a review on the 75 to 300 millimeter 1.4 to, to 5.6 uh, lens, this cheap thing. Uh, also, I was going to do a, a small review on the lens I have right right now on the 5D Mark IV, and that is the 50 millimeter uh, 1.2, I'm sorry, 1.8 USM or STM. So that lens, I highly recommend that you buy the Nifty 50. It's plastic, I got it, but here's the thing. When you're walking around and you want a lens that's reliable, durable, and you can just throw around and have fun with, this lens, a 50mm 1.8, is definitely one of those things where you can toss it across the room to your bad buddy, he pops up on his camera and he takes pictures and he tosses it back to you, and you don't really have the worry of breaking a very high expensive lens. Um, not to mention, it fits well in your bag. It's small enough, it's compact enough to where it doesn't really take much room and it can it can really help you. Um, you don't always need a prime lens, but if you need a 50 millimeter prime lens, then this is definitely a lens for you. Um, but anyway, uh, that is good. This, I have rolled around in the dirt with it. I have done many things with this lens to see if it's worth buying. And here's my take, here's my, this lens is not worth buying if you are doing professional work. If you do professional work, I highly recommend that you do not buy this lens. Here's the reason why. If you're gonna pay at least $1 for whatever work you're doing, this lens is not for you. I'm sorry, if you're someone's paying you to do a job, this thing doesn't cut it. Now, if you are wanting to go out and have fun, now, the Canon 5D Mark IV and the 5D series are known to be very, very durable. The 1DX Mark II is also known to be very, very durable. So there's no question that these things can handle being beaten around a time or two. Um, but when it comes down to this lens, if you want to go out and videotape or um, take stills of wildlife or sporting events, and it's your kid's sporting events, and nobody's paying you to be out there, but you just want to take a small a small lens. This is very, very small compared to its competitors, or this uh, its counterparts, which is the 70 to 200 millimeter, and it ranges all the way up from there. Um, yeah, this thing is nice to have around whenever you want to take photos of your, of your kid, or your family events, or wild, wildlife, and you just want to say, you know what, I'm just going to go out there, I'm going to Get in the dirt, and I don't care what happens to this lens because it's cheap, it's and it's uh, affordable, and it's it's pretty durable as well. Um, but beyond that, reasons to, to have this lens, I can't think of another reason for to own it. Um, if you're getting started, if you're just getting started and you're a uh, you're a beginner, uh, yes, buy this lens, try it out. It's 75 bucks at a pawn store, and let me be honest, there were not. A short, there were no shorts of this lens at a, at a pawn store. They are rampant. They're they're box fillers. So when Canon puts a lens like this in your bag or in your box, they're they're box fillers, they're stocking stuffers, and everyone seems to have them. I think Canon has a whole, an overstock of these lenses, so they like to give it away for until they get rid of them all. Um, but that's my take. If you want to buy the IS version, it's still in the same. It's still in the same ballpark as this lens. I mean, it, it really is. Um, <clears throat> so that's my take on it. Don't buy it if you're professional. If you are professional and you wish to buy it for this recreational use, have at it. I like taking that thing out and putting it into the dirt and, and just like destroying it. And yet it still, it still works. It still has its loud motor, um, but yet it still works. Um, but beyond that, don't buy it. Now, my third, my third critique for today is Target. Target, what the heck are you doing when it comes down to photos? I mean, really, what the heck are you doing? Um, 
there are two things I did whenever I would try to test the, um, the waters when it comes down to Target providing photo services for their, um, their, their customers. Uh, printing wise, I, I really don't think anybody should go to Target. Until they upgrade their systems, until they upgrade their printer capabilities, they should not go to Target to buy um, photocopies or uh, copies of prints. They should not do that, um, honestly. Uh, the first time I went there, I tested it. I took my, my phone, I took my phone like everybody else does when they go to Target, and uh, I uploaded my, my photo to there and I tested the the one hour no not the one hour wait I tested the uh, the quick service to see how well the the, the uh, image holds up. Nobody was in line for this, so I was the only person requesting photos. Now maybe that was a sign that I should not be using Target to print anything, but I wanted to test the waters on that. All right. By the way, just because you know. Um, this isn't coffee. It's not coffee at all. I'll tell you what it is at the end of the video. I'll tell you exactly what it is. And shout out, shout out to uh, Peter McKinnon. Um, you absolutely love coffee and I absolutely love your work. I love it. I love everything about your work. I think it, inspire, it absolutely does inspire me to do the best that I can do in regards to photography and your work shines through my work because I am I get inspired by you. Um, each and every day I try to look at your videos and try to get a little bit more inspiration. Now there's a lot of things I don't know about photography and you show what I don't know. Um, and what I do know, uh, whatever you reiterate or what I know, um, you definitely help me up my game in whatever aspect of photography. Whether that be street shooting, whether that be uh, low light, night photography, or when it comes down to simple videos, how to improve your game with videos and using uh, programs like Lightroom and programs like uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, but there's one thing that I have a negative to say about you. That is, your love for coffee is sometimes too much a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Um, but beyond that, keep up the good work because myself and others like you, Marines like me, love your work and I just think that whatever you're doing, keep it up. Just take it a small, small smidgen down on the coffee. Your excitement demonstrates how much you love coffee. So, shouldn't that be enough? I think so. All right, so. <clears throat> Back to Target. The first time I went there, I got a picture from the quick service. Now I went back, I went back to try a different approach. I took my CF card, uh, before that I took my camera, converted to J, the, the file, file that I had on hand to a JPEG with the camera onto, so it's not like a computer issue or program, it's through, it's through this camera that I converted it to a JPEG. And I put that JPEG onto my CFAT, my, my CFAT, my CF card. And I took that CF card and put it into the machine and uploaded it. Worked just fine. I got back the photo. Now this is my prized photo. I published it to National Geographic, which you can check it out on my National Geographic page. Just type in Hinesley or Michael Hinesley. You'll be able to find my page and look through my, my, uh, my photos and you will definitely see this photo. Now, I have printed this photo using a separate machine, an Epson. Epson? Or Epson, whatever. And it came back beautiful. I used 1,000 uh, bits uh, per inch, and, or DPI, dots per inch, dots per inch. And I, I, I tried that and I increased the, um, I think I used 16 bit or 32 bit of color, one of those two. But it came back beautiful. Beautiful, just like you're looking at on a on a Mac, or looking at it through the camera. It's just the same. It's beautiful. The colors are nice. There is there is absolute um, beautiful bulk and color depth and all correct colors. Basic Canon does an amazing job when it comes down to colors. So shout out to Canon for being such an amazing player when it comes down to color science. So here it is. 
Let's open up, let's crack this bad boy open and see exactly how crappy or how awesome target photo, photos are. Now this is after, after the one hour session, the one hour session. So they have one hour to print this photo correctly and beautifully. Let's see if they've done that. And they did it. Here it is. As you can tell, the colors, the colors in this picture are just terrible. Like, the seal that I took, the picture I took, it did not have, this is too yellow. It's too yellow, and you can definitely tell that the bulk is distorted by how many, they probably used 200 DPI on this, or 100 DPI. There's no way they have used the appropriate dots per inch on this picture. There's just no way. And you can definitely see a, a, a moire, moire in the background, both in the, the waves, which normally would be waves, and you'll see the skyline. It's just, it's just awful. Like, well, that was, how much was this? I thought it was probably four bucks wasted, but hey, my four bucks wasted and your four bucks saved. So if you ever get a chance to go to Target and you think in your mind, hey, I need to print off some photos today. I want to put some photos on a wall. Do not, do not do that. Please don't. Save your money because I have, I have gotten better pictures from Walgreens and CVS Pharmacy than that. That is horse crap. All right. All right. Um, but beyond that, thank you for watching. I'm gonna post some of my, uh, I'm gonna post some more pictures with the 600 EX2 RT Speedlight onto my Facebook page, which is Heinz Lee Productions, and my Instagram page, which is also Heinz Lee Productions too. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I cannot stress to you how how grateful I am of you watching my videos, and please take it. Run with it. If you don't like it, then don't subscribe. But if you do like it and you want to support what I'm doing, please subscribe. And thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day and stay inspired. Probably wondering, hey, wait a minute. Did he tell me that I'm going to find out what's going to be in this coffee? Well, for one, it's not coffee. And two, it's tequila. Have a nice night.